Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watches my videos. And as my way of saying thanks, and maybe to help convince some of you to subscribe, I'm going to be giving away a $25 gift card. Every one of my subscribers has a chance to win. So if you're already a subscriber, you're already entered. Additionally, anyone who comments on any one of my videos within 30 days of this video's publish date is entered to win. That's one entry if you're a subscriber, and one entry if you leave a comment on one of my videos. So if you subscribe and leave a comment, you could be entered up to twice. Keep in mind, there's a maximum of one entry for a comment. So there's no reason to go around commenting on all my videos, unless you really want to. You're more than welcome. But once again, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. You guys make it all worth it. And now, on with the show. If you've ever been to the World Water Park, you already know there's a ton to see and do. Water slides, surfing, enjoying the brown floored wave pool, Blue thunder? More like brown thunder, am I right? I love the water park. You can sit back and enjoy a drink on a warm waterfront setting. A welcome break in the middle of an Edmonton winter. It's so easy to make a full day out of just being there. But the next time you're at the water park, stop and take a look at the windows. Yeah, that's right. I said windows. Nope, not those windows. Not those ones either. No, but you're getting warmer. Look for a very specific set of windows. Look above the wave pool, in the shadows below the Fantasyland Hotel. They're easy to miss if you're not specifically looking for them, but they do stand out once you notice them. I mean, along this entire wall section, there's only a single set of windows, and they're one way so you can't really see what's going on inside of them. These windows belong to what very well might be the most unique accommodations in all of West Edmonton Mall. Maybe in all of Edmonton. With over 350 rooms, and 120 of those being theme rooms, West Edmonton Mall's Fantasyland Hotel has no shortage of variety. But, on the fourth floor, at the very end of the hall, lies room number 438. No other room in the Fantasyland Hotel has its theme, and no other room in all of Edmonton provides an exclusive view of the World Water Park. While there are multiple Polynesian or Hollywood or truck rooms, only the one available World Water Park theme room has windows overlooking the world's largest indoor wave pool. Aside from the spectacular view, the rest of the room's decor is themed for the World Water Park. Perhaps even more prominent than the view itself, when entering the room your eyes are immediately drawn to the commanding bow of an ocean liner, seemingly forcing itself into the suite. Everything about this room is water park themed. The walls are painted to look like a view from a beach. The table and chairs are from an outdoor set that you might see on a waterfront patio. The television sits high upon a lifeguard chair. And even the closet is made up to look like a beach cabana. The room also has another window, pointing outside. However, this window offers probably one of the worst views I've ever seen in a hotel room. In an effort to improve this, the hotel has placed a large decorative boat anchor against the window's adjacent wall. So, instead of just looking out onto a wall a few feet away, it instead almost appears similar to a framed theme-appropriate decoration. It's not a terrible update, considering what they had to work with. But of course, that window doesn't really matter, because when you book this room, you book it for one reason. The other window. What you're after is possibly the most unique view from a jacuzzi that you can get. And the view is awesome. Most prominent, of course, is the wave pool directly below you. But you can also see the tower of slides in the distance. Honestly, as cool as it is in the daytime, I prefer how it looks at dusk. The calm water reflecting the overhead lights, the slide stairs completely devoid of any motion, and the cabanas all lit up in different colors. Sitting in the jacuzzi while looking out over an empty water park is a surprisingly tranquil experience. And speaking of evening time, one of the coolest things you can do when staying at the Fantasyland Hotel is walking around the mall late at night. If you can't sleep, or if you're a night owl, going down to the mall to walk around after midnight or even 2am is a really interesting time. You pretty much have the whole place to yourself. It gives you a completely different perspective when you see West Edmonton Mall so empty, when you're used to seeing it so full. It can be quite serene. Some areas of the mall look really nice late at night when there's nobody around. The Santa Maria is especially photogenic in the dim lighting. 
Speaking of lighting, the lighting at Europa Boulevard is gorgeous. I just love standing there looking down over the mini golf course. And there are other areas to check out at night. Chinatown is nicely lit and definitely worth a visit. And watching the atrium surrounding the Ice Palace being mostly still is also very cool. Getting back to the Fantasyland Hotel and the World Water Park theme room, I think I realize why I love this room so much. It's just so damn 1980s. In the best possible way. It takes me right back to the earliest years of the mall. And as I already mentioned, the entire room is themed so well. It's got the perfect level of cheesiness. It's the attention to detail that I love. The imagery on the walls, all hand painted and still in great shape. The cabana closet, the lifeguard chair TV stand, the table and chairs, the boat anchor outside the window, the wall art featuring a collection of nautical themed items, even the palm tree beside the bed. And the bedside lamps themselves are themed like outdoor lights you'd see along the coast. The bathroom door has an imitation porthole mirror. And even the bathroom itself is themed well, with its fish wall art and water pattern on the countertop. And this awesome reflective rainbow accent tile, it kind of reminds me of a fish's scales. Even the carpet is patterned with swirls of water. Oh, and the area around the jacuzzi. I swear, aside from the view, the tiles around the tub are quite possibly what I love the most. I don't think they make them like this anymore. And if they do, please don't tell me. Because I would just go out and buy them and make my whole house water park theme. Arguably, the crown of this room is the mural painted on the automated window covering overlooking the water park. Someone had the genius idea to paint a picture of the water park view covering the water park view. It's like the 1966 Batman TV show, where Bruce Wayne's wall safe is under a painting of the exact same wall safe. You know this image hasn't changed since the water park's opening day, as it still portrays the water park back when all the slides were the exact same beige color. You know, I'm probably alone here, but for some reason I preferred that look versus all the fancy color these punk kids like these days. Come on. Everyone is turning colors. That is not going to happen. But it could happen! No, it could not! And those multicolored cabanas no longer exist, but I feel like the ones today all lit up at night is a pretty decent throwback to their original state. What's really cool about this room is, it's one of those things in the mall which hasn't really changed. Fellow West Edmonton Mall enthusiast and YouTuber Lake Nipissing took these shots back in 2006, and the room is essentially the exact same from back then. We can see that with the advent of LCD televisions, the lifeguard chair slash TV stand needed to be modified. But aside from that and some new chairs, the bed covering is the only update. Just look at how awesome this bedspread is. Perhaps this was the one thing that may have been too cheesy for the room to handle. So, if you ever find yourself needing a hotel room in Edmonton, whether it's for a vacation or maybe it's time to try a staycation, Consider taking a swim back in time by booking the one and only water park theme room at the Fantasyland Hotel. Happy sales! Did you look at those guys over there? Who? Those sheep, all lined up at Timmy's just waiting for their morning coffee. Yeah. All of them clamoring for their spot in line, desperate to get their order in first. And it's all the exact same order. Double, 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 double. They can't even make up their own decisions until they bow down to the corporate coffee gods. You said it. Drones. The whole lot of them. Can you imagine being such a zombie that you can't even... Next! Oh, that's us. Can I get a grande sugar-free non-fat vanilla soy decaf with no foam served extra hot with whip and extra syrup? Dude, I was going to order that. Would the water park theme room be your pick if you were going to stay at the Fantasyland Hotel? Or would you choose a different theme? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, for goodness sake, subscribe already. It's 100% free. Also, give us a like and a share. And why not check out some of our other videos? All about the greatest indoor show on earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching. <laughs>